uh, technical challenges around having a, a remote speaker, but we just have the one today. Um, but I will say, I, I said earlier that most of the people who contributed a lot to the, least, the latest couple releases of Viewfind were in the room. One exception was Maccabee, who is now virtually in the room. Uh, so he is going to talk to us about new capabilities in Viewfind multi-column combined search mode. And I will give him the mic. Thank you, Damien. Can folks hear me okay now? All right, thank you. Woo, we got it. Thank you so much. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for working out the technical difficulties. And I'm really uh, happy to be here talking to you. Um, I'm embarrassed to be talking to you in English. I wish I could talk to you in German. All I can say is that my daughter just started learning German in middle school. So maybe in a few years, I'll be able to do this the right way. Um, but in the meantime, I'm happy to talk about multi-column search mode in ViewFund. So when we talk about multi-column search and uh, ViewFind calls this combined search and it's configured mostly in the combined.ini configuration file, what we're really talking about is taking results from multiple search backends at once and displaying them on a single results screen. The term for this that's used most often is bento boxes, named after this sort of style of, of eating, which is delicious. Um, there's a very good tutorial video that Damien did a few years ago that's linked from the presentation um, for the overview of what has existed for a while in combined search since this has been available for more than a decade now um, in its original form. This screen shows a more or less out of the box configuration of combined search in one of the out of the box themes. So there are three boxes that you can see here in a two column layout. There is a box in the upper left that I have here called catalog uh, and a box in the upper right that says EDS, which is results coming from EBSCO discovery service. And then a third box in the lower left, research guides as an example of a third. Um, this is probably one of the most common configurations and reasons to use combined search mode to combine local catalog results with some third-party article API. This uh, Damien will recognize from Villanova's uh, combined search. So in this case, we have a three-column layout with bento boxes, again, of a local catalog search on the left, of an article API in the middle, and then in Villanova's case, on the right, we have results from their library website, uh, which is a very neat integration capability. This is a screenshot of the work we did at Lehigh. So what we have is a sort of two and a half column bento box combined layout. We have um, two main columns, which you'll see at the top, we have, again, a local catalog result specifically for books and then uh, an articles result. And we also have some sidebar recommendation modules, which I'll get into in a little bit. So why am I doing this presentation? I'm at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania in the United States. We've been using ViewFind for over a decade, but just in this last year or so, we built what we call a single search experience. So on our on our library homepage, we wanted to change having six different tabs to search six different things with a single search box. And so we needed a page that would show a single page of results at once. And so we're continuing to use ZFind now using combined search. Um, all of the uh, the new capabilities for combined search that, that we've built here, we contributed back to the community, of course, um, minus things that are theme specific, of course, as any institution would do. Um, it's the rule at Lehigh that if we show any pictures of our campus, we have to show this beautiful rotunda in our Linderman library. So I've now obeyed the rule there. So I will be showing new capabilities built into ViewFind, and then I'll be showing some new integrations as well. Um, Damien alluded to some of these in his talk an hour ago, some of the new recommendation modules and backends that work most usefully in the context of combined search. So to start, 
The combined search has always had a variety of layout modes that were possible. The out of the box one uh, before was one called distributed. And so it's, it's very nice and smart in that if you define, for example, six different boxes and a two column layout, it lays them out in, in this layout where the first box is in the left column, the second box is in the right column and so forth. Um, that's a good layout for a desktop view. Unfortunately, when you are looking at combined search on a mobile view, that existing layout takes all the left columns first and then all the right columns first. So you have them in this unexpected order, one, three, five, two, four, six, which uh, is, is not the order that the user would probably expect. Um, there's a new layout mode available uh, <clears throat> called grid, which uses CSS grid, which for folks who are familiar with CSS, is a much more flexible and configurable way of aligning elements within HTML. Of course, grid was not really supported in browsers widely until about seven years ago, which was long after combined search made its debut in viewfind. So it's understandable that the uh, it wasn't originally supported. But using grid layout, um, among other things, the boxes are still defined in the right order on desktop, but then when you are looking at a mobile responsive view, they're aligned properly in that case as well. Grid CSS, of course, gives you a lot of other capabilities um, that are part of the CSS spec. One of them is to support differently sized boxes. So this is an example of our implementation where we've defined the last bento box to have full width. Um, we did that simply because we had an odd number essentially of boxes and we thought it was a better layout to look that way. So with essentially one line of CSS using CSS grid, you're able to achieve results like that. And I imagine much more complicated results would be possible as well. Another new capability in combined search are jump links. So this is an optional set of links at the top of the search results that link down to the individual bento boxes. The advantage here is, as you might expect, um, especially if you have a two column layout, for example, and you have more than two boxes, it may not be obvious to your users that there are more boxes farther down. And so clicking on one of these results jumps the page down to where that particular box is. You also get a, a quick overview of the number of results in each box, which can be an indication of a summary of the sorts of results available from the search. At Lehigh, we did a little bit of additional CSS customization to those jump links. Essentially, we made them look uh, like buttons, just like the find button above. We found in our user testing that there wasn't enough visibility to the jump links. People still didn't uh, get that sense that there were more results lower down. So this is something we did. Other folks may find that to be helpful as well. Another new capability in combined search is advanced search links. So in normal search in Viewfind, when you're searching a single backend at a time, there's a link at the top of the screen to do an advanced search on that backend. Because advanced search does differ um, on individual backends, there's no equivalent link on the combined search screen uh, by default. It, it doesn't exactly make sense to have an advanced search screen search all those backends at once. But the idea here is that we can add an advanced search link to the individual bento boxes so you can immediately jump to doing a search in that back end. And that is configurable independently for each bento box. So here, for example, is an articles box. There are three different links on this screen to get the full article results. You can click the word article on the, on the top here or more options in the upper right or this more article results down here at the bottom. But we've added now this link to advanced search. So for those advanced users, they can immediately get to that search mode. Another new capability added is simply the, uh, the use of recommendation modules on the side. Viewfind has recommendation modules, has had it for years. This is a way of including content on the screen that doesn't perhaps have as full amount of information for each result as a primary sort of result would, but it's still useful to see alongside regular results. So this is just an example of using the longstanding libguides research guide results 
um, now possible uh, in a side recommendation alongside a combined search mode. Um, recommendation modules can make recommendations either by the results from a individual search backend or simply by the query string um, that was used for the res results. So it's a very flexible capability that I'll, I'll talk more about and useful in the context of combined search as well. Um, so uh, Ari Mayala from the National Library of Finland developed this fantastic feature a few years ago called Blender Boxes uh, or Blender Backend. The Blender Backend combines multiple backends into a single result list. And that's been there since, since Viewfind 9. So it's worth mentioning here that combined search can also, among the boxes on the combined search screen, you can include Blender boxes. So one example that I'll show in a few slides is we have two different data sources at Lehigh for our print journals and our electronic journals. But even though they're two different backends, we can combine them into a single box on the screen. Um, another use case of this that we're considering is multiple licensed article APIs. We use EBSCO Discovery Service, but we're also looking at results from the ProQuest platform uh, at two different APIs from that and combining those as well into a single Blender uh, backend and then showing those in a box on our results screen. So those are some of the new technical capabilities of the combined search. Now I'm going to show some of the ways that we're using them at Lehigh, mostly to display secondary data sources. So what I mean by this is I alluded before that likely the primary backends in use in your viewfind are your catalog results and perhaps your article search, if, if you have licensed article search. But there are other data sources that perhaps there are other front ends for uh, that are the primary way those things are searched. But if you are doing a combined search, then it may be useful to also integrate those other secondary data sources as part of that combined search. In other words, they wouldn't necessarily be useful on their own in viewfind, but they're useful in the context of pulling everything together. So these are some of the um, secondary data sources that we've contributed recently to, to viewfind. I alluded to earlier that we have journal titles. Um, we have our electronic journal titles from EBSCO's Publication Finder service. We have print journals in our ILS, in our Folio open source uh, backend. And um, so there's a new integration for the journal titles from EBSCO Publication Finder that's configured in epf.ini. And um, all of the recommendation modules generally are configured in searches.ini. So here's an example of our journals search box at Lehigh, where we've used, this is a Blender backend, combining our EBSCO publication finder results with our folio results. And we're using the simplest possible way of merging them with electronic results at results number one, three, and all the other odd numbers, and then print results at the even numbers. Um, it works incredibly easily and simply. And thanks so much to Array for developing that Blender capability to make this work. Um, there are a couple different approaches we've used to integrate research databases. So from our instruction librarians perspective, sometimes they want to teach our students to search directly in individual research databases. So the idea here is that our search tool viewfind can not just show results from the articles in those databases, but also recommend the databases themselves and link to those individual databases. So there are a couple ways we've, uh, enabled to do that. One is a new backend for LibGuide's AZ databases list. And that's helpful. It's very straightforward. The search query goes straight to that list and returns results that match the name or the description of that database. It is, however, naive in that it has no way to search the content of the databases. So as I give, give an example here, if you search for a name like Albert Einstein, where, of course, he'd be, he'd be mentioned in articles, but not in the name of a database. So uh, it, it's, not a very, it's, not a, it's not a foolproof way of searching uh, for databases. One of our librarians came up with a better approach here, which is that if your combined search already includes an articles box, like from EBSCO Discovery Service, and those articles each indicate which database those results originated from, 
Then we contributed a module called databases, which lists those specific databases ordered by the frequency that they appeared in the article search results. So that, um, I'll show you a screenshot and an example, but that recommends databases based on the content of the articles that were returned. Um, this one can use integration with libguides as well, but it doesn't have to. The, the links to the URLs for each database can also be configured directly in an INI file. And this is documented in the eds.ini file in the databases section. So an example screenshot here is I search for Johannes Kepler. I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. And in our EDS configuration, we actually had a lot of results coming back from Academic Search Ultimate, from Medline, and from Science Direct. Those were uh, three of the six results uh, databases where the most results came back. Um, another integration we did uh, is with this Research Guides backend. This has been a backend for Viewfind for many years, the LibGuides Research Guides backend but it's also available now as a recommendation module, which um, can be useful for some institutions. Another integration we did is recommending a subject librarian. We stole this idea blatantly from Villanova. So thank you, Damien, for doing it first. But the basic idea here is that if your combined search includes catalog results and you have call numbers for those catalog results, this recommendation module uses a mapping of the, the call number prefix, whether it's Dewey or Library of Congress or whatever the call number schema is, mapping the prefixes of those call numbers to a librarian that is most relevant for that particular subject. Um, this also is integrated with a different LibGuides API to pull in information about each librarian, but <clears throat> I'm sure enhancements could be, could be made to this to make it not LibGuides specific. Um, here's an example uh, as it might look in our in our search API. In this case, the search was for German geography, and so it returns recommendations for our social sciences librarian, Elizabeth. Um, I believe this is the final integration I'm going to show today, and this Damien alluded to before as well. This is for integrating with a consortial viewfind instance. So at Lehigh, we use uh, Project Reshare, which is an open source resource sharing um, framework that happens to use Viewfind as its front end, as well as Folio for its back end. And because Reshare uses Viewfind as its front end, it also provides Viewfind's own built-in API. So the idea here is that if I'm searching my local library's results as the primary results, um, it's also useful to show consortium results at the sidebar. And this way, I can combine that into my single search results screen, show them all. Um, we also locally have a link here, get other books and articles quickly, where we link to interlibrary loan and purchase request capabilities to further help the users get what they looked at. When we at Lehigh did our initial user testing, not on a combined search, but on our previous search instance, we found that up to 20% of our searches yielded zero search results, which was really scary. And really bad. Um, we achieve. We, we tried to address this in part by using the spell check capabilities of Viewfind. So if someone typoed their search query, that would help. But we also found that often they were looking for an actual item that was spelled correctly, but we just didn't have locally. And so this has been very popular with our patrons, the ability to search externally as well. Um, that's uh, the end of uh, the improvements we've done to multi-column search and how they're being used. Um, I'm very happy to take questions. Thank you.